Welcome to this video where we'll take a quick look at MPOX, what it is, how it was named, the symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. MPOX is a disease caused by the monkeypox virus. The virus belongs to a group of viruses called orthopox virus. This group also includes the variola virus, which caused smallpox and the cowpox virus. The virus was first discovered in Denmark in 1958, when some monkeys kept for research developed a pox-like disease characterized by skin eruptions. Although the disease was initially called monkeypox, in 2022, it was renamed to mpox. There are two main types of the virus called clade 1 and clade 2. These are further divided into subclades A and B. The first human case was reported from the Democratic Republic of Congo in 1970. Since then, cases were reported from countries in Central and West Africa or associated with travel from those regions. But in 2022, there was a global outbreak of MPOX, prompting the World Health Organization to declare a public health emergency of international concern in July 2022. This outbreak was mostly due to clade 2. Less than a year later, given the progress in controlling the outbreak, this status was removed in May 2023. However, Recently, there has been a growing outbreak of MPOX driven mostly by clade 1, prompting WHO to declare another emergency in August 2024. Let's have a look at how it's transmitted. MPOX is a zoonotic disease, which means that it's a disease of animals that can be transmitted to humans. Although the virus can be carried in many animals such as squirrels and monkeys, the natural reservoir of the virus is yet to be determined. The likely way it's transmitted to humans is through direct or indirect contact with infected animals. It can be transmitted from person to person, directly or indirectly. Direct transmission occurs when there is close contact with an infectious person. This generally occurs where there is direct skin-to-skin -skin contact, contact with secretions, or prolonged face-to-face -face interactions through respiratory droplets. For example, during sexual activities, it can also spread from the mother to the fetus during pregnancy or to the newborn during or after birth. Indirect transmission can occur from the contaminated environment through a contaminated object, such as a towel or clothing. Other ways of spread are still being investigated. So, what are the symptoms? The incubation period, which is the time from infection to when symptoms appear, can be between 1 to 21 days. MPOX can present with a range of symptoms, such as a rash that can be anywhere in the body and can range from a few lesions to many, swollen lymph nodes, fever, headache, muscle aches, back pain, or low energy, inflammation of the rectum, or urethra. People may experience only some symptoms or have an atypical presentation. People with MPOX are generally infectious until all the lesions are completely healed. It usually gets better on its own after about two to four weeks. However, complications can occur, such as secondary bacterial infection of the skin lesions and infection or inflammation of other parts of the body, such as the brain, heart, lungs, or eye. MPOX can be fatal in some cases. Those at higher risk for serious illness include children, people who are pregnant, and those with weak immune systems, including people living with poorly controlled HIV. So, how is it diagnosed? Polymerase chain reaction, PCR testing, which detects the genetic fingerprint of the virus, is the best test to diagnose the disease. This is usually done on samples from skin lesions, such as fluid or crusts. And treatment? The main approach to treating MPOX is to provide supportive care and prevent or manage any complications. Antivirals and other therapeutics are currently being evaluated. How about prevention? There are several ways to prevent MPOX, such as avoiding direct or indirect contact with animals that could carry the virus in areas where it's circulating among animals, avoiding direct or indirect contact with an infectious person, and maintaining good hygiene practices, such as washing hands regularly. Several vaccines are effective against MPOX. These can be used for people at risk of MPOX to prevent the disease, pre-exposure prophylaxis. It can also be used shortly after a person is exposed to the disease to stop developing the disease, post-exposure prophylaxis. Public health measures such as surveillance to identify cases, isolating those who are sick, and effective contact tracing can reduce the spread of the disease. And that's a very quick look at MPOX. What's known about the disease is evolving, 
so information may change quickly. For up-to-date information and to learn about the disease, have a chat with your healthcare provider, refer to information provided by health departments, and have a look at the websites below.